Good evening, and welcome to our service of Compline on this Monday, June 21st. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia. I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, a privilege we gratefully acknowledge. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. We are on the eve of the Feast of St. Alban, the, one of the first martyrs of the faith in England, who died uh, on this day in the year 209. Um, there's incredible stories about him coming to faith as he witnessed a priest praying, and as a Roman soldier, he could not be baptized, uh, even though he had accepted Christ into his heart. And it was in his martyrdom that his baptism was made complete. And with witnesses like that, we give thanks to God for all who have come to faith uh, by hearing the word of God and seeing the ministers of God at work um, in the world. There is a, a meme going around on Facebook today where it said, yesterday was heavy, put it back down. And I was thinking today was heavy. And so let us lay it down as we come before the Lord and let, him, let it rest with him as we come to a time of prayer. Let us be still and know that we are surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is a portion of Psalm 63, found on page 405. Psalm 63, page 405. We shall say verses 1 through 8 responsively by the whole verse. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh also longeth after thee, in a barren and dry land where no water is. Thus have I looked upon thee in the sanctuary, that I might behold thy power and glory. For thy loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall praise thee. As long as I live will I magnify thee in this manner and lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied, even as it were with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, I meditate upon thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my helper, and under the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever, ever shall be. be. World without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 40th verse. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilucus Antitumenum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, 
who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors. We praise and glorify it above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven. To be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together let us say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. The collect for this, the feast of the eve of the feast of St. Alban. Almighty God, you conferred on your holy martyr Alban such love for the mercy of Christ that he gave his life to save a hunted Christian. Grant us, after his example, to be so faithful in our confession of your gospel that we may shelter those who flee from persecution and bear reproach, the reproaches which threaten their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on this, the shortest night of the year. Look down, O oh Lord. Hmm? Longest. Longest night. No, shortest night. Longest day. Oh, sorry. We'll get this right at some point. 
Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne, illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness, and from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your hearts this night, inviting you to name them out loud or share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for those who are uh, in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, for those longing to be in hospital and under medical care, for those around the world who are struggling with in the third wave of the pandemic, for all who are at home recovering, for all whose recovery is longer and complicated, for all who are self-isolating and waiting test results, for those who are anxiously awaiting the vaccines and for a fair and equitable distribution of the vaccines around the world. We pray for all who struggle this night in mind, body, and soul. We pray for those who are struggling with mental health issues, with depression and anxiety. We pray for all who are suffering from addictions. We pray for all who grieve the loss of loved ones, be it from COVID, or for those who are struggling with losses of the children at the Indian residential schools, for those who are struggle with the loss of culture and identity, and for all who struggle with the losses brought by racism and systemic racism. We pray for all who this day are awaiting doctor's appointments, diagnoses, and surgeries, for all who are recovering from surgeries and all undergoing therapies, procedures, and treatments, that God's healing hand will be upon them, upon their family and friends, and guide those who have care of them with wisdom and compassion. We pray this day for all who lead. Think of those who lead in the communities, for those uh, elected to offices, to those who volunteer, to the people who got gathered together to mark this day as the National Indigenous Peoples Day, and for the opportunity to be together and to celebrate the cultures across this nation. We pray for those who lead across the provinces and territories, and in this province, we pray for the members of the Legislative Assembly, for the Premier of the Cabinet, for the work of Dr. Henry, and for her office in the distribution and administration of vaccines, and for the powerfully lifting of restrictions to come in the next week. We pray for all who lead uh, us federally, for the members of Parliament in the House of Commons and the Senate, for the Prime Minister, the Cabinet, the work of Dr. Tam and her office in the procurement and study of the vaccines, and for all the work going into keeping us safe and rebuilding the economy. We pray for those who lead us in the Church, Remembering this night, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, Mark MacDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, for all the clergy and laity that lead in the parishes, and for those who, for all who offer of themselves to reflect the love of Christ. We pray this night for those who are elderly, 
those who are in long-term care with uh, chances to visit with family, for those who are, um, in, who are isolated either because of health, because of location, because of fear of the vaccine, or the fear of the virus, of COVID, and longing for the vaccine and wishing more have obtained so they can be freer. For all who are isolated because of fear and circumstances, we pray for those who, for whom home is not a safe place. For those who are facing uh, domestic violence. For those who have no place to lay their head tonight. And for those who are difficult to house. We pray for those who are in prisons. For those who are cut off from family and friends for so many reasons those who are unable to travel abroad to visit family at this time, and for those life moments that have been missed because of that. We pray for everyone's safety, for their health and their salvation. And we pray for them as we offer our intercession and along with those whom you have named. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, Encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, grief, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them, and those whom we have forgotten. Do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your thanksgivings for this day, for those grace moments where you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and the lives of those around you. I am so thankful for the resilience of the indigenous peoples of this land, for to hear and see the gathering this day and uh, to witness um, the joy of their cer of ceremonies and culture and to, to hear uh, uh, them pray at the same time to the triune God. And and just the joy of that. I am thankful to see parishes getting excited about reopening and thinking about new ways to be the church and to share uh, this incredible faith and to show the love of God to those who are not aware. As we gathered to have a conversation across several parishes of the diocese about messy church this evening and, and for the joy that that was. And for uh, the joy of, uh, of connecting with people today and working on a number of projects and, and um, seeing excitement about the reopening and being able to come together. With your thanksgivings, we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest. For all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And on this, the close of National Indigenous Peoples Day. Notsi mezine zu atahe na heta mezachu edine nu zuchu hotie gozita akon vini de. And the blessing of the Lord God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be with you this night indeed forevermore. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray that you do lay the day down and leave it with Christ and know that in the morning there's a new day for you to pick up. Tomorrow at 12.15, we gather with the Dean next door for midday prayer. You find that on the St. Andrew's Cathedral Facebook page. And then, God willing, I'll be back tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock for another service at Compline. Until then, nighty night. I'm a hoopoe.